Okay, here we go. Yeah. So we are live on UrbanCityRadioStation.com. Hey, we, we are on the tune Once again. App. And we also stream on iTunes, Internet Radio. We are Streaming on is good. Tune in. Google Play, That's right. iTunes, Keep and log on to UrbanCityRadioStation.com. Mm. I'm working on iHeartRadio okay. and Pandora Radio. I'm working on it. What if I put All you right. on my radio? I want to be on your radio. Yes, I'll send yeah. you everything you need. What you need, brother? I need a lot. Anything you need. I love you. Talk to me. Hold on, let me get my lips together. <laughs> Tell everybody who you are. <laughs> yeah, this is Chris Gotti, Adventure Music. Hello. You heard me? We in the building. We here with DJ Spurk, and we're going to talk about something to get you wet. Ooh. Yeah, First of all, before we start right this interview, you. you know the rules. I don't do. I oh, do you not, about no? You, I do not know, you know the rules, and I usually don't play by the rules. But that's okay. They don't, you gonna play by these rules? <laughs> 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 you gonna like these rules? So what's the rules? All right, they on the board. It says radio station rules for men. I want you to read number one, so you can't say. It I says when you enter this, this studio, you belong to Squirt. Who Squirt? Me, baby. Holler. Hey, okay, now. <laughs> This is slavery all over. I here. love it. Do you see what's going on right yeah, now? Free work. They're trying to abolish this bullshit. You are going to receive something in advance. Oh, okay. It's not going to be for no no reason. Okay, okay, what's the next rule? Okay, go ahead. It says you must text or call your wife or girlfriend mm -hmm. and break up. Peace out, heifer. Right. Just like that. You just this is what you do. You just text. We broke up, and you don't say nothing back. Okay. It's gonna drive her crazy. So just when like interview, that. Yeah. So when the interview's over and you call her like this happened, y'all Listen, I'm going to have to send it out to at least a few different, yeah. multiple group, group, group texts. Yeah, this is going to be a group text. And, and if they got a problem, I'm a single, come call me. I'm a single man. Oh, okay. You heard me? Not while you in here. You just agree. Single man. You just agree to us. No, you own me. Gotcha. That's not, that's not nothing about a I'm marriage. That's the way he said that. You said uh, you own whoever's in there. Squirt owns that person. You belong to me. Okay, well, that might mean a lot of things, but it don't mean we in a relationship like that. It's trying to be so difficult with me, but I like it. <laughs> okay, so last we, rule. the last rule is you must follow the instructions that I provide you to say my name. The instructions that I provide you. I won't say it yet. Ready? Okay. This is like Simon Says. Yes. But you ain't Simon. You said your name is I'm something squirt. different. Right. <laughs> you said don't say it now. I was following no, the rules. No, for you. No, but I did out. say it. I'm going to whoop him. So check this out. And he's going to like it. So check this out. Hurt me. Hurt me. This is a scenario. <laughs> he's so silly. <laughs> this is a scenario, Chris. I'm listening. You said your name real good, didn't I, Chris? Go ahead. Talk hey, Squirt me. has a voice fetish. Uh-uh. It does something I'm to me. I'm sick right now. That, your well, I'm not sick. You sound good. There's something wrong with my throat. I don't want to say this, but it's been something in my throat. Pause. I'm going to help you get it days. out. <laughs> I'm going to help you get it out. It's been having me raspy a little bit here. Ooh, I'm going to get you smooth. I need some yeah. honey and some tea. I got inside. some honey tea and sugar and squirt. Uh, <laughs> see, okay, I don't know your All right, here we go. <laughs> We're on a cabin for the weekend. We in the cabin? We, this is the scenario. For I'm you. following okay. them. Let my guy go with you. <laughs> Once you say I be saved and I got, I'm there. Go ahead, <laughs> say it so silly. <laughs> okay, so. You know, I have a voice fetish and what your voice does to me. But we take this trip for the weekend on a cab and on a hill. Two days are over. It's time to go home. We got to go back and finish making our money, right? Mm. Uh, we look out the window. It's 20 feet of snow outside. We stuck. Mm. Squirt got attitude. Did we have a good time before we... Yeah, we point? done did all that. Like, we tired. We done did all okay. that. You know? So, now we got to stay another night. And I got an attitude. You're like, oh, Lord. So, you know, in a relationship, you have to make the woman happy. That's the goal in your relationship, period. Make the girl happy. Yes, I don't need you to respond. But so, <laughs> so while we're on this trip, I got an attitude. You know, we still have some things left over. Can I say so. something though? No. no. Okay. Just wait a minute. After you say my name, you can say whatever you want to say. So we're sitting in front of this fireplace, and I got an attitude, right? So I'm sipping on some wine, and I'm leaning on you. You on a bearskin rug? I ain't got no clothes on, <laughs> but I'm playing hard to get. So you After got this whole week. Yes. Yes. That's crazy, girl. Yes, I know it's crazy. Shit. Emotions, they work. So, but, but I might take it. You have to, yeah, see, you will. See, it's, it's crazy, but it's good crazy. So, you know, you're looking at me, you know, I'm, I'm naked, I'm leaning on this rug, I'm sipping wine, getting all toasty, but I got attitude. So I'm rolling my eyes and stuff. I ain't giving you no body language. So, you have to say my name to make me give up them goodies so we can have a good night. How you gonna say my name? Hmm. <laughs> 
See, we all different. So you, know, you, 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 you have, have to stay. do you. You got to do it like you do it. Yeah. I don't have some crazy stuff. Go ahead. Like, I want to see how you going to do it. He's going to be like, you ain't going to hold this shit. <laughs> Well, That's that New York yeah. stuff, for real. Well, fuck, we done had this weekend. We done had a great time. And you gonna let a little snow stop this? Okay. Not tonight. Oh, you gonna get them yeah. Johnny's Chris? Woo! I'm gonna take it. Yeah, oh, you gonna oh, see? I, and who I'm gonna call, right? Yeah. We stuck. We stuck. I like that. Yeah. That's dope. You gonna you, get a whole lot of trouble. I do. I like that. I be telling them, pull my hair. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, you gonna, the weed will be gone. Oh, no. I, I do it myself. Be gone. I do it myself. It's in there good. It ain't coming out. I promise you. You yeah. get it out, we get married. Okay. <laughs> Boy, bye. You there forever. You pull this out. <laughs> okay, here we go. All it's right. coming out, though. All right, all right. Thank I you don't want to get married, though. I'm we single. Don't, I, we don't have to get married. I like my life right now. We don't have to get married. That's it. We just have to let everybody know what the deal is. You're going to tell everyone I pulled your hair out. That's all right. Because, you know, that's like, see, we call that cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> see, women, they promote. No, they promote better than anyone, that and, was and good. we call those cocktails. That they go good. out and have, they tell their cocktails. <laughs> Girl, this shit is gone. Look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. That was funny. Oh yeah. Oh, he a mess. What yeah. song would you? This is a long to? time. Did y'all see how re- this has been almost a year ago? I know that you guys were here. Yeah, we I had a great time guys. last time we was here. De Niro. Yeah, De Niro. Who had baby? He need. He owe me a new drop just for that. Not yeah. being here. He De Niro, owe me a new drop. I love De Niro. Hell Miss no. you, but you my man right now. Yeah. Okay. So, where the little Islander looking one at? <laughs> she talking about uh, Chris. Mateo. 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 That's what she talking Mateo about. Mateo was like looking she was like. Mateo. Ooh. She like was on dinner. Mateo. She was on everybody. She was I on pick, De Niro. You know what? Yeah, I mean. pick what I like about people. That's all. You know, I identify with them. Listen, and I, I, I like campaign you know, what's up. While we on mm-hmm. campaign, so campaign, what's up? campaign, what's up, baby? The little baby with the deep voice. Oh my God, his little voice. He sat there the whole interview and didn't say nothing. And I turned around and said, "Wait a minute, you ain't say my name." Yeah. So he was like, "Oh." Well, I was like, "Damn, yeah. this little boy got this deep voice, boy." Yeah. How old is you now? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, he legal. He legal. Oh, you going to get no hey, trouble. All right, boo. All right, all right. You are here in Cleveland, Ohio. That's this is right. Cleveland, Chris Gotti, the sexy. How tall are you again? A six foot. Six feet tall. And a half. Oh, you got a half? Oh, you got a half. Hell, he's not going to have y'all on the box. He got a half for y'all. <laughs> six foot. He and is a half. here in Cleveland, Ohio again. Every uh, bit count. You know that. I know. Every bit. And you, and you got to work. You, yeah. yeah. You, you missing a. Okay. Anyway, back to the interview. <laughs> if you More. missing a little so something, we gonna, is, yeah, man. we got a problem. You got it. So, all. um, anyway, Chris, <laughs> we are here to market and advertise. That's right. Adventures Music. That's right. Do so you see my you? T-shirt from last year? I see. It's it. Still here. I love it. I, I, everybody go. Oh, y'all ain't know Chris Scotty. That's my man. <laughs> so we're <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so while you know while we was in Cleveland last time, we mm-hmm. we was on tour. And I was doing with artists uh, like uh, showcases mm-hmm. and seminars. Mm-hmm. And after the showcases, what I ended up doing was taking all these artists to the studio. Mm-hmm. And we made music. We made okay. records. That's dope. So I did that in all the cities. And now we have an album. It's a Chris Gotti Lorenzo. I'm using my last name. I know. My real last name, which okay. is Lorenzo. It's Chris Gotti Lorenzo and Adventure Music Presents. Independence, which is the name of the album, mm-hmm. and I have all these independent artists from all these cities we toured in, mm-hmm. and these are the records we made while we was in each city. That's awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a real, it's a great project. And the way I did it, cause there's 24 independent artists total on the whole project, mm-hmm. but over 100 artists, independent artists performed to try and make the cut right. of these 24. That must be dope. Yeah, the album is, I really enjoy it, and it's the first time that anyone has ever done this for independent artists. Yes. So I'm out trying to help and empower these guys. Again, it's my project. I'm paying for the marketing promotion of it. Mm-hmm. So if something comes about it, they will still be able to move on with their exactly. career. Exactly. Um, independently. I can, independently, they could do whatever they want. Awesome. Yeah, I think it is. I really do. And we're doing a little listening party tonight for some radio tastemakers. I will be here, baby. And just let them hear the album. And I'll explain the exact story of each song, which city each song is from. Um, That's dope. Yeah. And then, you know, we did one in New York that was an overwhelming success with everyone that turned out and mm-hmm. the appreciation for the music. And I said, let me go on the road and hit the cities that mm-hmm. is part of this 
album and let them understand they have a record they should be supporting. Yes. And the independent artists that was on this record, they should be supporting. And so, you're showing them how to support themselves. Exactly. Run their I'm own giving business. them exactly the blueprint of what an independent artist should be doing for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing it with a very modest budget because I don't want to spend so much because most what? artists right. but most artists can't afford it. Right. So if I went and spent even fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, they can't it do it. It wouldn't matter. So right. it's like you're doing something I can't do. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm doing something that everyone can do. Exactly. And I will have a video for every song because Are you sure you don't want to get married? Uh, no, not right okay, now. Okay, go ahead. I'm married to the streets right now. That's it. Miss I'll be the streets. Reaches. Hey, I'm just playing. You change your name. I'm changing my name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Go ahead. No, so, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but you know what I did is again, in all these cities, and creating it, the the impact that all these artists had to make it. They picked the beat. They picked the the verse, the hook. So mm -hmm. each record is really representing that city. person in that, that city. That city yeah. where they're from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, I just finally got my production studio completed. I see. Before it's I great. told you that I would. Yeah. We, and, listen, and done, this is a I'm relationship we building. I know. <laughs> I like, I'm kind of a free bird, too. <laughs> I wouldn't be right on lockdown. <laughs> it wouldn't be me. I don't think you could be with just I one. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Anyway, that's, that's the truth. They already know. Anyway, yeah. so that is awesome. So yeah, we're going to be at the, I'm going to be at the listening party tonight. That's going to be great. And um, I'm bringing a couple folks. So sure. Put me down for one plus two. No worries. So. Dex Diamond will have it under control. Dex Diamond, he's so dope. He don't want to get on the camera with me, though. No, he does. I kind of boycotted him you right now. You boycotted him? That is awesome. And I see, you know, you guys come. You always come with a new team. It's oh, about yeah. support, working well, together. We're, adding, we're growing. Yes. And uh, all the people that was with us the first trip are still with us. But this is a different run, and then I gave some new opportunities for some new people. No, that's awesome. Yeah. I want to host one of these events one time. One time. Yeah. So send for me. I'm for it, too. I can't. You're you coming? Oh, yeah. I'm DJing now, too. Is that right? <laughs> you like that? Love it. Everybody loves DJ. You know the DJs want to have. You know the DJs always ask me, "What could you do for me?" No. You, you know what I tell yourself. them? No, but I tell them. I say, this platform is about one thing. But when it comes from a business standpoint, mm -hmm. it's about one thing, mm -hmm. and that's the ownership of that intellectual property. Mm -hmm. DJs don't own an intellectual property. You're playing someone else. Selling me. But you're you're playing other people's intellectual right. property. Their records. But that's a connect. It's at, the network. But you don't own it, so you can't right. monetize it in oh, the no, sense no, of selling that. No, I get it. But what I did tell him was what they should be doing is DJ Khaled. Yep. He and on everything. He's on everything. He's getting artists and saying, I need a record. I need a record. Yep. I need a record. And DJ Squirt could a, have an album called DJ Squirt. Oh, I already am. I'm Presents. working on it. I'm already working on it. I'm already working Just on it. Just make sure you come to Adventure Music. We won't have no problems. I got you. Because we'll be divorced quick. We'll never be divorced. Okay, that's I'm it. I'm one of those. Till death wild, do us. Yes, there you go. Till death do even us in death, Even in death, <laughs> I will be in follow, following the spirit. <laughs> but, um, but um, you know, that is dope, and it's important that they yeah. need to know, because I get a lot of artists in here, like, how are you promoting yourself? How can you expect someone to put money into you that you're not putting into yourself or showing some type of work? You know, it's the first thing you gotta I learned. got to do some work. Uh, first thing I learned in business was that. So I used to take um, all these different ideas to investors. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is when I'm young and I'm trying to get in. Like I got a great idea. Mm -hmm. I got this water. Yeah, you don't and stop. I go in the room and I tell the investors, put some money in it, and we'll be able to make this thing the biggest thing ever. And the first thing they say was, "Is it yours?" No, yeah, you know I'm, I'm supporting, but it's the best thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The next thing question was, "How much money did you put in?" Yep. First question they asked, yeah. everybody, no mm -hmm. matter who I went to, mm -hmm. how much money of your money is in that product? Mm -hmm. And I said, nothing. That's why I'm here to get money. Well, if it's so great, why don't you have, you don't, are you exactly. broke? You don't have any money? Why are you not putting something, even if it's not, if you don't have the money, you got to put some you gotta work, invest some in time. Your money. You show other people support so they can see what you're doing to show you support. You and know, uh, and then you'll, you'll be surprised when you start doing that, how, how many people's going to help you more. Because no, that's very true. Now they know you're serious. And not just trying to steal their money. Because yep. whether you're serious or not, you got to realize there's so many other people hustling that investors be, yeah. that is just getting given up money, and then they're taking that money and not doing anything. Right. So you got to understand that that's what all investors are facing. Mm -hmm. So nine times out of ten, they already dealt with that, and they're not going to deal with it again. Exactly. Nobody wants to feel cheated. 
That's it. Or misused for whatever. But if it you're is. putting your own money in, and it's all relative, if you said, "Yeah, I put in a thousand dollars," and they know you don't have anything, that's a lot of money for you. That's right. Yes. So they know you. They know it. you're serious. Let me but, tell you something. You know, you know when this started, it was just a show for mm -hmm. me, and then it kind of grew into a station, and I was in one room, and now I have an opportunity in this building to get into a space enough to keep adding to it because it kept growing. Right. I hit that fifty three thousand. There you I go. Fifty thousand six hundred four listens in a month. Mm -hmm. I hit it. Good. So I'm working for the next. So um, I had to move out of the house that I was you in. I moved into a third floor. I have a sister saying, look, here, I just bought this house. Here, go here. Stay there. We ain't got to pay. What? People are just stepping up, accommodating me to keep it going. Because they see you working. Because they see me working. Is that's what right. I'm trying to say. So you get people that's running around. I'm good. I'm the best you could be. But. <laughs> Gotta get that business. I know going. if you believe in it the way you selling it, you would put every dollar because you want to exactly. own the most stuff. And I do. And I do. You don't want to give do. it away. Exactly. Because when you get money from someone, they want it. They want to see it. They at least want to see it. it. They're going to own it more than you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all about being smart. That's and you're so smart, Chris. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> he always bringing these fine men in here. I love it. Men. <laughs> I do say that, don't I? <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, yes. And also, hey. Let's, let's get the sign a brief for uh, yeah. Jax to have me over the table or something. Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. Maybe I should put it back. You caught on. Yeah. You just caught on. Savage is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's part of the Texas go Seven. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and tell them what this is about. Well, this is, again, this is just about empowerment mm -hmm. for independent artists. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I took all these, all these artists from all the markets that we went into and made music. And this is the product of that. These are the first two singles. Process is from Baltimore, mm -hmm. and Deep Like the Woo is from uh, North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the name of the album, Independence, because I felt, you know, I put that chain there breaking because that's what oh. it is for the music industry. Yeah. But it's very ironic to see what's going on in the world today. Yes. And then this came, this is out already like yes, that. And it's so a way it to take the chains off you. You don't have to. No, honestly, oh, I'm gonna ask you about that too. Sure. I'm gonna ask you your insight on that. We are gonna get out. Get no, we can talk. First of all, about it's it. about. First of all, a lot of people all they wanna do is talk about what's going on. You know how they can get above. They're not talking about what's going on in this world that's affecting them. Yeah. Now I've been watching and paying attention to how the police are behaving. Um, mm -hmm. that Virginia, Virginia incident. You know, what do you think about that? It's it's it's, it's the writing's on the wall, people. You just gotta read it. Mm -hmm. Just if you don't wanna read it, but. You know, I said it earlier, I said, um, you know, God does things sometimes for everybody to see things, right. whether it's good or bad. You, you know, it's the way to open your eyes up. And let's say Trump becoming president, which is one of the, you know, more negative things, in my opinion, um, that happened. But it's, it's making all these other things come to light. Because, yes. And it's like, if you want to progress, you have to identify this stuff. If it's, if it's just hidden... In, in silence, no one knows. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I told a story. I said, there was this lady from uh, Italy. Mm -hmm. I'm out with my boys. Mm -hmm. And we're having a party. We're partying. We're dancing, laughing, joking. She comes right in the middle of us. I'm a light-skinned black man. These are all dark-skinned black men. We're mm -hmm. with them. She stands in the middle of us. His five of us. And she said, you know what black people's problem is? And we didn't know where she was going with this. Mm -hmm. Uh, she, and she was from Italy, and we're just looking at her like, where is she going to say? Because we was ready to go crazy on her. <laughs> right. And she said, you can't hide being black. And it's the first mm. time I thought about it in that capacity. That is really deep. It's, and it's so real. because, And I'm, I tell that story because it's so real. And I never even looked at it or thought about it like that. She's basically saying, I'm white. I could be a rapist, a killer, a murder, and you wouldn't never know. Me. You can't hide mm -hmm. being black. Mm -hmm. Everything else you could hide, you know. Wow. And That's you deep. but when you're white, you could hide all this stuff, but you can't hide being black. No, you can't. And it's real. And it was like, man, that's the realest statement. And that, that came from her. Is. And she was, you know, I always talk about the when you're talking about like um, this movement for the black power empowerment and anything like that. When you're talking about all of the racist stuff going on. It takes not only blacks, it takes whites mm -hmm. and different races to be part of it to move the needle. 
that's what I'm trying to say. They don't so, see this as almost a good thing. That, I almost saw a good thing. I'd rather know than not know. I'd rather mm -hmm. know that dude right over there is a racist exactly. than not know. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a reason they wear them hoods mm -hmm. when they come out that They'll KKK. Hide. They, they don't want. Hide. They ain't got the balls. They're not man, man enough to do it. Yeah. You know, that's why they go to and move the way they move. They're inside. It's a code. It's a secret society. Mm -hmm. When you read their laws and everything, it's yep. a secret. Yeah, that's why it's just not you out know? blunt. And, you know, it's just not out there like you that. Know, waiting. It's just, it's hidden and, and it tricks you and makes you move and then you fall into it. And, uh, you, you, know, you know. A man so. says everything twice. These dudes don't want to say anything once. Mm, that's know? true. They wow. want to hide behind things and they make their moves and then you realize it and it's, it's too, too late. late. But you know. That's awesome. But one one good thing I got out of it, not saying that it was totally good, but when I watched the even the coverage of it on the news. Be careful with the media. I know they they make it look a certain way because that's what they want, and that's yeah. why this is here so I can show the real what sure. people think and what they say. But looking at it, when you saw all those people, and the opposing side and the other side, they were all white. Mm -hmm. They were majority all white. White fighting against white. Go back white. to the '60s. See what I'm saying? And there was more whites back then. It was whites with the blacks that made it happen. Thank you. If it's just us, we're not going to win. Exactly. We because have we're to get outnumbered it. when it comes to that. And, and, and it, but that's what makes it so rough. Mm -hmm. Because, like she said, can't you, never, you can't hide being black, but when you're white, you don't know who's who. You know, and when Trump, when Trump got in, all of a sudden you see neighbors with that flag <laughs> flying. They you was, see, they was proud. They the Trump do it. banners and but the pins. And yeah. the sad part about it is, Pence is worse than Trump. He didn't know. They didn't even know. They don't know. He's worse. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, um, oh, thank you for your opinion on that. Yeah. And it was very strong, and we need more people to see our people talking in a more productive fashion. Yeah. You know, so it's, <laughs> you got to show that you're real. You know, you're real out here. Man. So. Um, There's so many fakes, it's unbelievable. It's bad. I was just talking about this on it's Facebook. Part, it's part of, the, it's it part of the black community's problem is they don't stick together. When yep. you go through all these ra different races, from the Latinos and the Jews, they stick together, the, they stick together. way better than we do. Mm -hmm. Way, mm -hmm. way better than we It's do. changing a little bit. You think so? I don't. A little bit. A mm. little bit. I know a lot more. Yeah. Jay-Z like, said it best. <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? so, well, since I'm getting involved, I'm seeing more. I'm seeing more positive things than I am seeing negative. Before it used to be all negative. That's Still why I negative. said it. just me. <laughs> Jay Z said it best. Yeah, that's true. But OJ, you know what? I'm not a, it, I'm not a nigga. I'm OJ. But, but, but nigga, that's okay. a, that's the word nigga. <laughs> the word nigga is a title that was put upon us yeah. that we don't have to entitle. You know, but you don't it, have to. You know, we took it and, and everyone says they took it and we made it a positive. But we still, so. it's a gray area, right? But mm -hmm. guess what? Hip hop. I'm going to. I, I Hit it. Hip hop yes. has bridged the gap mm -hmm. and changed everything. Bless you, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. you, know, you understand that? Mm -hmm. So you have whites all over the world embracing hip hop. It's only inevitable. Yep. Even though we had a terrible line with the, that nigga word, inevitable that they embrace it because it's part of the culture of hip hop. And it is. And, and I why. know I know white friends that use it just like we do. Because that's it's, it's what up, me. Man? You look. I, um, I'm working on another show that I'm working on about more important topics. Look. So the thing is, it's a funny. It's a very hard. It's very hard. But, yeah. But you've got. Look, let me point this out. You've got black men. I'm gonna say black men. Sure. They work so hard in society. Oh, they get all the degrees. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're in a the suit. They're running. Um, I was about to Cubs. say something else. Yeah. Yes, they're Strip running. Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Squirt clubs. Oh, I can work on that. I'm gonna get a club. <coughs> but anyway, <laughs> that would really sell. But anyway, they yeah. But they <laughs> but they you know they get to these high levels in corporate America and their business suits and their ten degrees and and they will let one person call them a nigga and lose it all. Yeah. So it's all a mind. You, you, Hey. You, you'll, you'll choke somebody, get in a domestic dispute, or you kill someone, and lose it all. I don't. Why? I think it's the way it's in, take, in the way it is. Whoever it is, again, it'll be accepted based on how it's said. You gotta take that power out of it. You gotta take that negative power out. But of you it. can't because there's still mm -hmm. people that's gonna use it the wrong mm -hmm. way, and then that's the ones that when you're gonna lose it all. I yeah. know I will. Yeah. You know, I take that. I'm. Yeah. Listen to me. That tells you more about the person that's trying. Can to I tell you? Take can you I out. tell you? I'm very. Um, let's say receptive to people if they're saying any 
racist or comments. So one of the most things I caught in my life, in my career, was the biggest racist statement I would get was, that's a lot of money for you. Oh, yeah, like what you do? Like, why are you complaining? That's a lot yeah. of money. Mm. And when I heard that, I would snap. Mm -hmm. And I would curse them. I mean, I don't give a fuck who it is because at the end oh, of the day, mm -hmm. I'm self-made. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to accept it. Uh, people that have jobs and have to be reporting to certain people and they may not say something, Listen, I'll understand it because you're taking care of your family. You don't want to lose it. But I don't think, I don't condone it either. Mm -hmm. Because if you accept it, you're in trouble. True. I'm not accepting it at any level. If I hear any derogatory or statement that makes me feel it, I'm going to make you clarify what you meant. Mm -hmm. You're going to address it. I'm yeah. going to address it immediately. Yeah. Oh, I get it. You get, I get right to it. Oh, I get it. Right to I it. I get it. You know? And I have no fear or na way about it. It's no problem. It's just how I was raised. You're not going to be able to get away with that. My mother, my mother's from, her family's from the South, um, black woman. Nene, what up? And she said, she's going to be, she's going to be 84. <laughs> really? And she used to say to me and my brother Irv all the time, you think you had it rough. Mm -hmm. She said, when I woke up and walk out that door, there'd be someone hung on, this, on the, right in front of her. Could you imagine? Ooh. That's what she dealt with. Mm -hmm. That's my mother, not my grandmother, right. my mother. Right. So at the end of the day, the things that I've heard and dealt with on my inside of my very own family mm -hmm. is deep. Nah, right. I'm not accepting. But, but that 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 struggle, that challenge, and that knowledge yeah. makes you a more productive person because you need to be able to. But you know help what else? I, I deal with. You know, I've been blessed to deal with kings, queens, right, uh, princes. You know, from all these different countries all over the world. No one's better than me. You better say that. No one. So at the end of the I'm day, I I give it how I get it. And if I don't get it that way is when I address it because I, 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 I demand my respect. You're not you going to talk to me or to. treat me any way you want. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, mm -hmm. you know. And it got me in trouble with maybe the law sometimes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've been beaten. Not Rodney King bad, but bad right. enough. Mm -hmm. Nightsticks and all. Like, end of the day, you're not going to do it. Any way you want, you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it my way, and then I deal with the consequences too. You know, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right. It's just me though. I can't change. But you gotta, it yeah. I, I understand where you're coming <laughs> from, but yeah, it's, it's getting really. That thinking is getting crazy, and I think it's, it's working to move for another change, just like it did before. You know, everything, time is everything, and that's mm -hmm. again when I say that, just to go back to my album, Independence. Mm -hmm. It's the timing of it from the music industry standpoint. Yeah. Um, record labels are non-existent. If I took Cleveland right here and had the best artists in Cleveland and did a showcase, uh, there wouldn't be one record label here to hear them no. or see them. No. And these guys here are just as talented as anyone else. Amazing. We okay. Got some amazing so that is the and that's not just Cleveland. That's right. everywhere. everywhere. Mm -hmm. New York as well. They're not showing up. So they're letting you know. Again, I say it all the time. The writing is on the wall. Read it. Mm -hmm. Don't walk by it and not accept it and think it's different. No, mm -hmm. they're telling you loud and clear. Mm -hmm. clean, clean your ears out. And they pick, they pick what they want. Okay. And no, always, they don't pick. They wait. They don't pick what they and want. I always they tell pick people, what pops up. But this is what I tell people. I tell them, I, I have like the young artists in here a lot. Mm -hmm. And they always, I'm good. I'm good. You are good. Okay, that's one fifth point five of the 3,000% you need. Okay, so, for example, you working so hard. What are you working so hard for? I want a label and a big deal, but I want to be a superstar. You can mm -hmm. do that without them. That's you right. know, I said, now, number one, a label will pick you up, and if they do say that quality to you, that you're the best, and they offer you a $2 million contract, mm -hmm. but you worth $80 million. Mm -hmm. So you going to take that $2 million and let them have $78 million, and then they tell you what to do, what to do, what to wear, what to look like? I don't think so. So Not when me. you say it's getting better, that's why blacks have the biggest problem out of all, of, right. out of, all yes. of the uh, races that are out there. In my opinion, this is my opinion from what I've seen in my lifetime, that's because they will take that deal. That's what I'm trying to say. Educate um, yourself and you will not take that And deal. use what you got. I asked this question. I'm hurry now, up. Mind you, Next diamond ain't about to stretch me off over this time. <laughs> let me go over time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but let me tell you, over, over what, what it is, the problem is, 
that money might save your life. I get it. So there's the yin and the yang but with it. But you gotta know how it's to a use it. It's a balance. Say, like well, we discussed this before. Absolutely. Let's say you're out there poor and they offer them a two million dollar that can help their life right now. But sure. they gotta know that you can't live like you made it already. You take that little difference left mm -hmm. and you reinvent it into your own. Yes. Where all of it comes back to you. Take that and work it and bring it back. But they take it and then you know I'll ask them this question really fast and hurry up. Thirty million dollars. Say you got thirty million dollars. And you a superstar, and they granted that to you tomorrow. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, we gonna party. Ah! Oh, all right. First of all, yeah, I'm gonna take five million of it, and I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do. Get out of my system, right? And then I'm gonna take twenty five million, and I'm gonna build something. Yeah. That's gonna grow, and you know, etc. And they was like, oh, I'm gonna make a studio, and I'm gonna do this. Let me tell you. You something. can do that without money, cause that's what I'm doing. See, you you're a builder. You're doing it with nothing coming. With up. nothing yet. So you're saying I got if overhead I had money, still. it's even better. But most people are not you. I so I'm, I deal I'm with it. That's why Can I tell you, I deal with in that in music. my sports management business more so than anything with the athletes. Okay. Mm -hmm. They get those checks. Ooh. But, the re you know, their biggest problem is maybe their parents, the handler, um, that never did business in telling them what to do with the money. Yep. And they're Starts wasting with education. money. And they waste that Starts money. Starts with education. So it's, it's a very, it's, again, this life is, is funny. Mm -hmm. I just had the mayor in here, and he's telling me what he's going to do for Cleveland. I said, well, what are you going to do for the school? Yeah. He said, well, what do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. I went to pretty much an all-white school. Mm. We were taught Toastmasters in the fifth grade. Why y'all not teaching it here? Mm. You get it? It's a difference in education, which is why there's a difference in growth it's and production a, in different cities. My, so, do my daughter is 17. The work she's doing, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I told why, you, you can't ask me here? to help you. Why she is it been not past here? my college, my education level. <laughs> right. And, and all I did was graduate high school, but at the end of the day, I have no clue of the math if she's doing and the things she, like schools, it's so advanced. It's they're different. not doing that. They're not doing that. Yeah. They need iPads, like all this other stuff y'all are pushing for for the city and everybody putting money in their pocket. Why you ain't go talk to Apple no. and get them some iPads? Mm -hmm. This is why I use everything Apple because I'm about to pitch a sponsorship to them. Yeah. So everything that I'm doing and all the growth I've done with the station, I've used all Apple products so that um, I can get that. Yeah. And I'm working with the They're going to want to support Cleveland. you. I'm working. I think, yeah, I already talked to them. I've been there. They're going to want to support know. you. And I've already been to the schools where I can and teach media and teach these kids to do what I'm doing. You know, it only gets hairy if you're asking for cash. If you're talking product. Oh, no, no. They, they, they no, dope on it. Of course, because education they'll pay for. Mm -hmm. Anything with education, people are conducive to paying for. Mm -hmm. That's why so, I'm going to get cash because this is an educational platform, not is. just a distribution. Exactly. That is the core, yes, but we also educate. We teach you how to own, operate your own business mm -hmm. to make your own money. Got you. You know, and that's that's powerful. Y'all see my boyfriend? Say yeah. hey, boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is dope. It's also awesome to see how intelligent you are. It's such a turn on. I hate a stupid man. It make me mad. Yeah, I hate He be it. fine. Start saying stupid I stuff. I can't be with a dumb woman. See, I can't do it. I can't be with a dumb I'm woman. I'm real smart. At least not for, you know, for right. a few hours. See, I'm such a nerd. I read books. I study people. And I'm Dex Diamond about to put me on the table. But, um, because he <laughs> want me to get off the camera. <laughs> I, I, I want to know what's your favorite song on the album. I didn't hear it yet. See? You just gave me. You, you just, just gave, gave me the plaster. He always want to put someone on the spot. He wants you on the table. You know what? You could go if you right want me to get out the middle, just line. say the word. Right I'll right tell right you now. what. What I'm going to do. I'll tell you what. When you guys, you know, when you get out of here and I get everything situated, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to go Facebook Live. And we're going to listen to a Facebook Live. And I'll give my opinion and get people to talk. You know? Okay. You I got a nice do, little fan base. You might want to do Facebook Live at the listening party. Yeah. I can do that. I'll be down there. I'm coming. Can I sit on your lap? While I'm talking? Yes. Then you're going to be like a dummy. <laughs> I bet you I'm gonna put your hand on my back. I'll say whatever the hell you want me to say. Oh, yeah. I know that's right. I'm like, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> but no, no problem. I will. What, uh, Dex, what else you want me to do? Want me to read it, Dex? All right. Dex, the man, is in Independence no, Chris listening party. Chris Gotti. It's a glare. It's Chris Scott Lorenzo, Lorenzo and, and Adventure, Adventure Music, music presents. Go ahead, say it for me. Oh, the glare. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, I love you. He wants your voice. I'm sorry. I'm messing with him. Chris Gotti Lorenzo. Is there a height requirement? Hmm? You have a height requirement? I like him over six. Okay. And he's got a little half. Oh, my God, yes. And okay. half count. <laughs> Chris Gotti Lorenzo and Adventure Music presents Independence, the listening party, featuring two released singles. 
process and deep loop the, the deep wool. Deep like the wool. Deep like the wool. I'm sorry, I thought it was deep. Don't deep. worry about My it. Bad. And that's Seth Sexy Chris Gotti on there. That's me. And then the, the first one up here. It's the album cover. The album cover. Oh, that's and those are all the cities. Those are all the cities. Who we got from Cleveland? Yeah. Who we got from Cleveland? Yeah, Faze Jackson. Do you? That's right. I know exactly who that is. That's right. Hey, Faze. You got to play this record. It's called All Day. I'm going to put all of them in. Yeah. I'm going to put all of them in. I'm changing everything now. You got Iman Shumpert on. Iman Shumpert's on um, uh, a record called uh, Champion. That's dope. Yeah. I like this album cover for Process, too. Yeah, that's Baltimore. That was when the riots was going on and yeah. everything. You know, when I, when I did Baltimore, you know, each city, the record mm -hmm. really represents the city. This is the city, right. Because they picked the music. Mm -hmm. They picked the hook. You guys they, did the video and stuff already? For only those two singles. Those two. Okay. I'm shooting a video for Cleveland now. I'm getting up. Where? How, you want to tell me so I can I, be there? I'm waiting on Faze because they're independent. See? Oh, okay. Independent. They got to tell me where they want to shoot. Gotcha. He's at work right now. Okay. When he gets off work, he's going to tell me. We're going to come pull up and shoot. Let me know. I'll be there. I will. I would love to. That's dope. Well, you know, I'm working on the record right now. Yeah. Well, it's mm -hmm. got to get distributed by Adventure. That's all I'm saying. I, I will definitely We will have a problem. You. I will contact no, no, we, we won't. Will have, you, you will never have a problem. Okay. Well then See, you know, I hadn't done it in 30 years. So <laughs> it was it was weird to get in the booth again. Like, wait yeah. a minute. What am I? Mm. Didn't yeah. feel right, so I had to play around a little bit. But See, you know, that's what this platform song. is for. I know. I have a dope song called All, All in My Head. Is it? It's all in your Very head. good. I'll let you guys check it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to Dex since y'all when we get done with it so you can check it out. See, you thinking. Okay. That's a concept record. It is. I don't know. It's very good. You thinking about your shit? Mm-hmm. Yep. This so, ain't no mumble rap. No, I don't know. I don't mumble rap. It always has a message. Even I if don't it's, even rap. if it's I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I don't knock mumble rap. No, I can sing a little bit too. I like some of that mumble rap. That's shit. dope. Well, Chris, thank you. I love you. We Ooh. got a whole new team of deliciousness in the room. <laughs> and where's he from again? Senegal. 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 He always bringing somebody from somewhere else in yeah. the whole world. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So you make sure you download my app. Tell everybody I'm your girlfriend. Okay? Put me out there. <laughs> She's squirt. That's, squirted. That's yeah. squirt. That's my name. We got to put and on the squirt who, machine. How come I didn't see the squirt machine? How you doing? How you doing, baby? That's a Sean. I ain't want to be hey. strapped. Yeah, I don't want to be strapped. You've been here for two yeah. hours. Okay, we out of here. Okay. I always hold them up because I love them. All right, <laughs> y'all. Yeah, so, <laughs> thank you so much for coming Squirt, in. Squirt, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you guys. And you got to send for me so I can come kick it with y'all. Yeah. I want to host something. I want to kick it. We running. We building. So we getting there. Gotcha. Look for that. Right. We're over 2,000 independent around. artists on the That's platform. Oh. Yeah, and, and growing. So well, you guys got to send me some of the best songs, too, so I can play them on here. Definitely. Right. That's Dex. Dex. I got it. I'm going to get Yeah, let me have that so I can say I can't right do everything, Squirt. That's got to do cool. something. Oh, I understand because I um, I had to hire me a publicist to keep me together. It's yeah. getting crazy. I can't even get my, I can't get to nothing. Organization most of the time. It's a lot. Yes, it's a lot. So um, thank you again. Everybody, make sure you download the UrbanCityRadioStation.com app. We're on Google Play. We're on <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> that was the same effect we made last <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on the air. <laughs> so and, um, radio. <laughs> and we are also streaming on iTunes Internet Radio. Yeah. We are streaming on UrbanCityRealization.com. That's right. We are also on the TuneIn. That's two. Network. Mm -hmm. And we are global. Yeah. Pow. Checks everywhere. Check out our YouTube, UCRS Network Station. All our videos stream on that network. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, all the social medias, Instagram. We're on all that. UrbanCityRealization.com. I am DJ Squirt. This is Chris Gotti. With his sexy music, stuff. Baby. This is Adventures Music in the yeah. Building. Dex Diamond and the team, y'all can't see them, but we're going to take <laughs> pictures afterward and y'all can see all of them. But um, thank you so much. Everybody, make sure you tune in because I'm going to be playing all those songs from there. I'm going to be bragging. I'm going to be thank bragging. You. Chicago okay. I really like tomorrow. That. Trust me, okay. I don't make whack music. I didn't think you did. Yeah. I'm going to be in Chicago you. tomorrow for the next three days shooting the video. So step up, Charlotte. Come on out. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. He, what he said. Charlotte, that's Chicago. Thank you. Charlotte, too. We gotta know. We in next three days, we in Chicago. Boss, he is the boss man. Next you know three days, right. we in Chicago. He is the boss man. Chicago crazy. It is. Three days. A lot of narcotics. <laughs> he is the boss man. All right, you guys. Everybody have a great day. Peace. Till we come back again. Next time, y'all gonna see me on Dex Diamond's lap. <laughs> he said, Pummy, Pummy.
Love you. Okay, here we go.